Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use this segmented display, seven segmented display. And if you look, it will display characters. But I, you can use any type of Arduino, in this case I used a Leonardo because I was lazy and from the last video, which was, as you saw, making a mouse out of the joystick, I was a little lazy and just decided to use Arduino Leonardo. So, you can just use an Uno or a Leonardo, or any kind of Arduino you want, and it will, you can wire it up, program it, and then it will display this. So, this is a, segment, a segmented LED display, as I showed, as I told you, and it is, there's two kinds, there's a common cathode, which is you connect to grounds, and there's another one called the common anode, which you connect to BTCs. I'm using the common anode, but if you have a common cathode, then you can connect them to, in the places where it connected to VCC, connect it to ground instead of VCC. So let's go ahead and start wiring up this cool project. Only if you have a common anode one. And if you have a common cathode one, those will be wired to ground. Now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna wire up <coughs> cathode E. And cathode E will go to this thing. And cathode E goes to pin four on the Arduino Leonardo. Or whatever Arduino you have. So that's pin four. And then we are going to wire that up to cathode E which goes to pin one of this. And pin one is right here. Like that. Pin two, it goes to cathode D. And cathode D is on pin three. So pin three will go to cathode D. Go in please. And then pin 3 is the uh, anode, and then pin 4 is cathode C, and cathode C goes to pin 2. And then cathode D, which is pin 5, or actually not pin 5, I mean, well, cathode D is actually. Oh, oh, oh yeah, we did our we already do cathode D. Sorry, so we're gonna we're gonna skip pin five because that's a dot and we don't need the dot. So pin six is cathode B, and cathode B goes to pin nine. So let's wire that up. And then cathode. So cathode A goes to pin cathode A goes to pin eight. And then we have cath and then we have the cathode F and cathode G. And cathode F goes to pin five. Cathode G goes to pin six. So let's do that. And then, there we have it. I'm gonna plug it in. And it should've ran the code that I ran earlier. So let's do that. And the reason it's not running the code is because well, we didn't attach up the positive terminal. Let's we'll do that. And then it runs the code that I originally did. But we're going to upload the code. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the computer screen and I'll show you how to upload the code. Which I do have on my computer. And I'll post it on, on the video description below. So here is my code. And 
we're gonna go ahead and go to tools, port, and we're gonna set the port. I'm gonna upload this, and of course this is very straightforward. So, I'm gonna go over to the camera to show you what happened. And I'm gonna press the reset, reset button, so hang on. So here we have it. This is our segment to the LED. So, it's pretty cool. So, one, it switches letters from A to F, and then one to zero. And I mean by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So, that's, I find that very interesting. So, thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and like this video, because I like that gun. Or, not gun, I mean board. So, bye!